Hello students, welcome to short concept video session on Medico apps. So today I'll be discussing with you all about the cusp of Caribli. Now cusp of Caribli is a very important short term which is usually asked by the examiner in the Viva and please do remember that this can be a theoretical question as well as a short note in the examination and of course a MCQ question. So let's start by understanding what is cusp of Caribli quickly in this video session. So cusp of Caribli is also known as fifth cusp. Now why are we saying it as fifth cusp? You will understand in this video lecture. So basically cusp of Caribli is a characteristic feature. And where is the characteristic feature seen? So this is seen on the lingual surface. Lingual surface means towards the tongue area. Okay. So if you are seeing a characteristic feature of lingual surface on the permanent maxillary first molar. Please do remember that if an examiner asks you the first question straight away he'll ask you or she'll ask you is that where is this seen? So the cusp of Caribelli or the fifth cusp is seen on the lingual surface of permanent maxillary first molar. Now this is present on the mesiolingual cusp to be very specific. I am discussing, there are two terms which I have just used. First one is lingual surface, only the surface. This is the tooth which I am seeing. This is the lingual surface and this is the buccal surface. So first term I have used is your lingual surface. Now specifically, where is this cusp of Caribelli seen? So cusp of Caribelli will be seen on the mesiolingual cusp. I hope you understand what are the cusps. You know that the cusps are the bulging area which are present on the occlusal surface. So there can be the mesial cusp and the distal cusp. Now going according to the roots, there will be mesiolingual and mesiobuccal cusp and distolingual and distobuccal cusp as you can see in this image. Now specifically, if I say that this cusp of Caribelli is present on the mesiolingual cusp, that means towards the mesial section, this is the mesial part and this is the distal part of the permanent maxillary first molar. So this is present on this particular cusp on the mesial aspect and on the lingual section. Okay. So this cusp of Caribelli is present on the mesiolingual cusp of the permanent maxillary first molar. So I hope you have understood this is how a cusp of Caribelli will appear. To be more specific, I'll show you the original picture. So this cusp, this cusp of Caribelli is a trait which may be formed in the well-developed cusp. Okay, this can be a well-developed cusp or this can be also present as a small ridge or a groove. Okay, so if it is present as a full well-developed cusp, this will appear like this. And if it is well-developed cusps, we will call it as a fifth cusp, which is separated from the mesiolingual cusp by a groove. And where is the groove? This is the groove I am discussing. This is the groove which you will see, which is separating the mesiolingual cusp from the fifth cusp. That is the cusp of Caribelli. So this is the fifth cusp, which is the cusp of Caribelli. So I hope you have understood that this is a cusp which is present in the permanent maxillary first molar which is if it is fully well developed cusp it can be separated from the mesiolingual cusp by a groove okay and sep and specifically it is present on the mesiolingual cusp by the uh, on the mesiolingual surface if it is not completely developed or if it is present as a small ridge or a groove so Finally, we can say that cusp of Caribelli is a supplemental cusp if it is full well-developed cusp. Okay, so as you can see in this image, this is the cusp of Caribelli which is fully developed, well-developed cusp. So how will you define cusp of Caribelli when an examiner asks you? So straight away, you will confidently say that it's a fifth cusp which is present on the lingual surface of the permanent maxillary first molar which is present on the mesiolingual cusp, okay? And if it is the fifth cusp, it is separated from the mesiolingual cusp by a groove. So we can say that it's a supplemental cusp. 
So this is the answer for you for the cusp of caraboli. I hope you have understood what is cusp of caraboli and you can straight away answer this. So don't forget to subscribe to BDS Express YouTube channel. In case you want such kind of daily interesting updates on important dental topics, join our WhatsApp exclusive WhatsApp group at www.medicoapps.org slash groups and the link of that group will be given in the description video below. Okay, so keep watching such kind of interesting videos. I'll be teaching you all such kind of exam the viva questions and the mcq questions and sometimes even the short note questions thank you for now good day good luck